My name is Wells Burgess. Good day to you all. Uh, some of you may have joined my prior classes on the appreciation of poetry. This class, which I'm going to talk about this morning, is Poetry, the Craft of Writing, which I'll be operate, offering in the fall. It's an entirely new departure directed not to those only who wish to appreciate poetry, but to those appreciators who wish to write it. The poet Archibald MacLeish famously said, the meaning, a poem should not mean, but be. And what he meant by that is that the meaning of a poem is not discerned from figuring out what idea it conveys, but from the arrangement of sounds, rhythm, and images that it presents to our ear, and in some respects to our eye. No one left a Beethoven concert saying, I wonder what he meant by that. So there is a language of poetry like the notes of a song. That language consists of the letters and syllables, the differences in their sounds, the manipulation of sounds through devices such as alliteration and assonance, referential comparisons through the devices of metaphor and simile, imagery, line length and stanza formation, rhyme and multiple options for rhythmic pattern. And note that these devices are present not only in traditional poetic forms, but in ostensibly free contemporary poetry as well. Now, no one in the history of poetry has started by sitting at a desk, picking up a pen and saying, I will now compose poetry. And that's a quote from Shelley. What is necessary as a first step is not writing, but reading poems. And I cannot emphasize that enough. Now, we can read a poem just to enjoy it. But this class will ask more. In this class, in seminar, limited to 10 persons, we will read poems with a specific purpose of understanding how the poet selects and manipulates these historic elements of sound, metaphor, line length, rhyme or no rhyme, imagery and rhythm to create the mood and meaning of the poem. Our text will be the poet Mary Oliver's A Poetry Handbook, which is really necessary to get what you need to get from the course. The participants, you all, will be encouraged to write lines of poetry, exemplifying the various devices we are studying, and hopefully to write a complete poem by the end of the course. And uh, uh, so I am looking forward to us basically setting off on a, a kind of a brand new uh, adventure at Encore Learning and hope you will join me in doing that. Thanks.